now we will discuss in the financial management uh, how to calculate the leverage in this video welcome all of all all of you okay in this video how to calculate operating financial and uh, uh, combined leverage please uh, now see the what is the problem calculate operating leverage financial leverage and the combined leverage from the following data sales of 1 lakh units at rupees 2 per unit variable cost per unit at rupees 70 paisa per unit fixed cost rupees 1 lakh interest charges rupees 4000 see the problem what the problem is given first how to see that okay what is uh, what is stated in the problem okay he asked to calculate the operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage. Okay, in this problem, 1 lakh units sold at rupees 2 per unit, wherever the cost per unit rupees 70 paisa per unit. Okay, what is the fixed cost rupees? 1 lakh. Okay, the interest charges means the interest on loan how much rupees 4000 okay this is a problem okay now you have to see okay how to solve this problem okay before solving the problem uh, please subscribe our youtube channel and also press the bell icon Okay, calculate operating leverage, financial leverage, combined leverage from the following data. Sales 1 lakh units at rupees 2 per unit. The variable cost per rate rupees 70 paisa per unit. And uh, uh, fixed cost rupees 1 lakh and the interest charges rupees 4000. Okay, now uh, let us discuss, let us start how to solve the problem. Okay, let us uh, see the what is the solution for this problem. Okay, first you have to calculation of PBT. PBT means profit before tax. Means after uh, profit before tax means after interest. PB, profit before tax is also as a earning before tax. Both are same. Earning before tax and profit before tax are both are same. Okay, first you have to take the sales. Okay, number of units sold in this problem, 1 lakh units. What is the cost per unit? What is the sales per unit? Okay, at which price the units are sold per unit? Rupees 2. Okay, 1 lakh units into rupees 2. What is the sales amount? Rupees 2 lakh. Let us variable cost. Let us variable cost means you have to deduct in sales. Variable cost, variable cost, the number of units sold, 1 lakh units. What is the variable cost per unit? Rupees 70 paisa per unit. See here, again see, uh, the number of units sold, 1 lakh units. What is the selling, what is the variable cost per unit already given in the problem? 70 paisa per unit. Okay, what is the amount? 1 lakh into 70 paisa per unit. What is the total variable cost? Rupees 70,000. Okay, now how to deduct the variable cost in a sales amount? Okay, what is the 2 lakh minus 70,000? What is the answer? 1 lakh 30,000. 2 lakh minus 70,000. What is the answer? 1 lakh 30,000. Okay, what you now have the balance? 1 lakh 30,000 is called contribution okay what you have the balance after deducting the variable cost out of sales okay what you will know what will have the what you have the answer one lakh thirty thousand is called contribution okay in a contribution you have to deduct the fixed cost fixed cost means these are Fixed, okay, which are constant at various level of production, at various level of uh, uh, sales value. There is, there is no change 
in a sir, there is no change in a fixed cost, whether it is increased or whether it is decreased in the sales or production. Okay, now how to take the fixed cost. What is the fixed cost given in the problem? 1 lakh rupees. What is the fixed cost? 1 lakh rupees. Okay, already given in the problem, 1 lakh. Okay, take it, 1 lakh. Okay, what is the answer? 1 lakh minus, sorry, 1 lakh 30,000 minus 1 lakh. What is the answer? How much rupees? 30,000. Okay, when you deduct the fixed cost in a contribution, okay, then you will get the answer. How much rupees? 30,000. Rupees 30,000 is called as the operating profit means earning before interest and tax. Okay, operating profit or earning before interest and tax. Less. Okay, interest on debt, interest on loan, interest on bond. If there is any interest payment for taking the loan, okay, how to deduct the interest. Okay, what is the interest? See here, already given in the problem. Interest charges rupees 4000. Means interest charges means the payment of interest. Payment of interest. Okay, how to deduct the interest on a debt or interest on bond? Okay, uh, means how to deduct the interest paid 30,000 minus 4,000. What is the amount? 26,000. Okay, 26,000 is, is called earning before tax. Means you have not deducted tax till now. Okay. What? You will get the answer after deducting the interest out of earning before interest and tax, out of EBIT, out of PBT. Okay. That amount is treated as a, what is that? Earning before tax or profit before tax. Okay. Now how to calculate the different means there are three types of uh, leverage. Uh, means first one operating leverage, second one is the financial leverage and the third one is the combined leverage. Okay, now how to direct the uh, first how to calculate the operating leverage. Okay, what is the formula to calculate the operating leverage? Operating leverage is equal to contribution divided by EBIT. Contribution divided by EBIT. Okay, what is the contribution in this problem? Okay, now how to take it? Okay, what is the contribution already solved the problem, already calculated the contribution of much rupees? 1,30,000 divided by EBT, EBIT, sorry, EBIT, earning before interest, tax, interest and tax or profit before interest and tax. How much rupees? 30,000. Okay. 1,30,000 divided by earning before interest and tax how much rupees 30,000 contribution divided by EVIT okay what is the answer 4.33 times okay operating leverage is equal to 4.33 times next one now we have to calculate the financial leverage financial leverage Okay, what is the formula to calculate the financial leverage? Okay, financial leverage is equal to EBIT divided by EBT or PBT. Both are same. EBT and PBT are both are same. Okay, earning before interest and tax divided by earning before tax. Okay, now, what is the EBIT? Okay, already calculated EBIT is equal to rupees. 30,000 divided by EVT 26,000. Okay, operating profit or earning before interest and tax 30,000 divided by PVT earning before tax how much rupees 26,000. Okay, now what is the answer for financial leverage? Financial leverage is equal to 30,000 divided by 26,000. What is the answer? 1.15 something times. Okay. 1.15 times. Now, we have to calculate the composite leverage. Okay. What is the formula to calculate the composite leverage? Okay. Now, composite leverage is equal to 
contribution divided by EBI, EBT. Contribution divided by EBT. Okay, what is the contribution here? Contribution is equal to already calculated. Overture rupees 1,30,000 divided by PBT earning before tax 26,000. Okay, see here. Contribution 1,30,000 divided by PBT earning before tax 26,000. Okay, what is the uh, composite leverage is equal to formula? Contribution divided by EBT or contribution divided by PBT both are same. Okay, what is the answer? 1,30,000 divided by 26,000. What is the answer? 5 times. Okay, sometimes uh, composite leverage is equal to operating leverage into financial leverage. That formula can be also applied instead of contribution divided by EBT. Okay. Like this, I have to solve the, I have to, means I just have solved the problem. Okay. What is the operating leverage? What is the financial leverage? What is the composite leverage? Okay. In this video, okay, how we discussed how to calculate these three types of leverage. Please the like for this video and also share this video to your friend circle to uh, share to all your friends and also share your exp express your opinion about this video in given in the comment box my whatsapp number double nine eight six five two nine zero seven three okay once uh, who has interested to join our WhatsApp group, please send the uh, WhatsApp message as I sir. Okay, when you have made the uh, when you made the message in WhatsApp as I sir, okay, then I join you in the particular subject. Mean also I suggest you you have to mention in which subject to to join the WhatsApp group. Okay, for the particular you are in, in which uh, subject you have interested. The same subject WhatsApp group will be shared to you. Okay. Double nine eight six five two nine zero seven three. Thank you for watching the class. Thank you.